October brings golden light, cool weather, and a ton of chores. Hello everyone and welcome to Suburban Stone Age. Today's video is part one of two that will demonstrate a few of the tasks we've been hustling to keep up with in preparation for winter 2021. Gathering Acorns the oaks of California have long been a source of nourishment for people for thousands of years. We are fortunate to have many types of native oaks in our community that produce an abundance of acorns. I've been watching the progress of our local oaks throughout the year, so when the acorns started to ripen, I was ready to strike. I grabbed my burden basket and gathered acorns from the trees along roads and trails. Once the harvest was in, I needed the acorns to dry, so I set them out in wooden trays in the sun and air to finish ripening and drying for storage. Once some of the acorns were dry enough, I shelled and leached them and ground them into the year's first batch of acorn flour. It was delicious, and the rest of the acorns will be left to dry for storage for the rest of the year. Preparing Clay for Pots Preparing clay for pots may seem like an odd autumn chore, but I needed containers for this year's seeds. I would normally like to make clay pots in the summer, but I had run out of both clay and grog. I needed to levigate some clay from our backyard soil and grind some grog from old broken pots. Grog is necessary to keep your pots from cracking while drying. When I had enough materials mixed and ready, I began to paddle out a large jar for acorns and several smaller jars to store my favorite garden seeds. Once fired, they will be valuable and useful containers for many years to come. Making Baskets The native people of California are famous around the world for their baskets. I taught myself to sew baskets from native plants, referencing a book from Justin Farmer called Creating an Indian Style Coiled Basket. In the autumn, juncus reeds have reached their full maturity and are ready to be harvested and dried. It is also the perfect time to split the juncus that has been dried from last year's harvest. These are the basic materials that will go into building the baskets over winter. These are not the only tasks we have going on for autumn. Look forward to part two of how we harvest and prepare for winter in an upcoming video. Please like and subscribe to keep up to date on our latest adventures and leave us a comment with any questions. Thanks and we'll see you soon. Bye.